What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Universal Mastery. Welcome back to my public YouTube channel. Okay? Now, if you're new, let me give you a little bit of a perspective on exactly what I do here. Okay? What I do here is I break down the occult sciences and I break them down to a very practical level so that you can simply use them and apply them in your day to day life and get real actual results with what it is that I'm teaching here simply by applying your observation and awareness. Very practical to do. Okay? Welcome in to all the reoccurring viewers. I'm very glad to have you in here. Uh, but once again, if you don't know who I am and you are new to my YouTube channel, let me give you a little bit of a perspective. My name is Jeremiah Schwartz. I am a professional occultist. I am fully initiated in the entirety of the Kabbalistic tree. I'm studied when it comes to the 22 major arcana of the tarot deck. And I'm also studied when it comes to planetary energies in direct association with astrology. Okay? Now, without further ado, let's move right along into the topic of our today's video. So what I'm going to be talking about is I'm going to be talking about some deep occult uh, understandings and just knowledge in general about what is happening on our planet right now. Okay, What is literally Earth going through right now? Why does it seem like there's so much chaos? Why does it seem like there's so much change that's taking place? Where potentially is our planet headed for the long term? What is, you know, how are things potentially going to turn out, okay, in the next couple uh, hundred years or even within the next uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now, okay, short term and long term? So I'm really going to be discussing some very deep and also nuanced perspectives on literally what is happening on our planet Earth as we speak. If this is something that you want to learn a little bit more about, then I would highly recommend staying tuned for the rest of this video, okay? I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I'm going to start with lighting my EMF incense stick, electromagnetic frequency incense stick, which is created by myself. If you have yours at home, now is the time to light yours. Set the intention of increasing your evolutionary power, however that needs to manifest itself. And if you would like to get your hands on uh, any of these EMF incense sticks, you can do so and buy a 50-pack bundle at the fourth link in the YouTube description, okay? Now let's move into it. So what exactly is happening on our planet today, okay? Obviously, there is huge amounts of change that is taking place that is leaving so many people, majority of the human species, in a state of feeling lost, a state of like, where am I? what's happening. I have no idea what to expect. Okay. This is the majority of the human species that feels this way. Okay. Now there are a few individuals like myself that are very embedded into occult secrets and occult knowledge that have been able to obtain uh, perspectives and informations on how the universe functions that a lot of people have no idea about. Okay, so there are few individuals on the planet today. When I say few, I'm still talking about thousands upon thousands, but in ratio to the majority, we're very few that actually understand what's taking place and even most likely where we're going to be headed. Okay, um, so I'm one of those people, and here I am now, and I'm going to share some of these perspectives and I'm going to share some of these understandings. Uh, so that you can have the awareness for yourself. But just know this, there are many people that are not going to be able to comprehend and are going to be able to understand some of the things that I'm going to be mentioning within this uh, YouTube video today. 
So just be aware of that. There's gonna, there may be a lot of things that I say that you can't process yet, that you can't resonate with yet. Uh, but then on the other hand, there may be some things or a lot of things that you do have the ability to process and resonate with. So take what is valuable for yourself and obviously discard what isn't for the time being. Uh, but just know that this information is not information that a lot of people have or that a lot of people know about, even within the major you know the majority of the spiritual community, people that claim to be you know spiritual and enlightened and things in that nature. So just be aware of that. So let's go into it. So what exactly is happening on our planet today? So we are, okay, let's first start with understanding what this planet is. okay? This planet is a third density planet that has just recently shifted into a fourth density planet. Let me give you a little bit of a perspective perspective on what density represents. So the density is going to be essentially be the level of consciousness that is mass collectively held by the planet itself and the species on the planet. okay? So the third density has to do with the density of self-awareness and also the density of forgetting. So there's a veil of forgetting within the third density. And there's this sense of separation, which also comes from the veil of forgetting, which is also connected to the ego. But the most important property of the third density is the fact that in this density, we get to make a decision between the positive polarity or the negative polarity path. We get to make the choice on which evolutionary pathway we are going to progress down for our further evolution moving on into different densities of uh, the evolutionary process. So it is in this third density where truly there is the most pain, there is the most suffering, there is the most catalyst, there is the veil of forgetting. It's only within this third density okay, where there is the veil of forgetting. And this is one of the most important and powerful densities because once again, this is the density where you really get to make that soul decision, that soul choice on which path you are going to go down for your soul's evolution. And that is very powerful and important for your soul to even progress up the higher densities. Okay, so when we're talking about the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, all the way up to the seventh density, it is necessary for the soul to have strong amounts of polarization. Okay, so once again, this planet being a third density planet is the planetary uh, consciousness, since it is a third density planet, where polarization is very real and very prominent. Okay, um, so that's what's very important to understand. Now, our planet has been a third density planet for quite some time. It has recently shifted, the planet itself has recently shifted into a fourth density positive planet. Okay, a fourth density positively, uh, positively oriented planet. And this shifting phase happened in 2012. Okay, so I'm sure most of you listening to this remember that time when everyone was talking about 2012 being the end of the world because it showed uh, that it was basically uh, that day in regards to the Mayan calendar. Well, 2012 was not the end of the world as we thought it was, or as many people thought it was, but it was just the end of a density, okay? There was a lot of significance to that date, the 2012, but it was the end of a density, which was, in this case, the third density for our planet. Now, our planet has recently shifted into a fourth density planet, okay? Let's understand what the fourth density represents. The fourth density is a density where there is no more veil of forgetting. There is a state of love, a general state of love. That is going to be the program and that is going to be literally the main concept of fourth density. It is love. Whether it's positively polarized love, which is more so love towards others as the self, serving the source within yourself, or if it's more so love for yourself as the source. Okay, That is the, we could say, the vibration of a fourth density planet and a fourth density consciousness. Now, within the fourth density, as I said, the veil of forgetting starts to dissolve. 
where you start to literally reconnect the conscious mind to the subconscious mind and the unconscious mind. So you literally start to remember past, present, and future, and this starts to take place within the fourth density. This is also the density where your physical body, which is a third density vehicle, starts to essentially dissolve as well in turn more so into a light body. So this would be a energetic field that can perceive that can be perceived uh, very clearly. That's the word I want to use. It's a it's a form of projecting light through the mind where you can take on a shape as a light body and potentially change your shape because of the power of the mind and how you restructure your light image, your light body, okay? This starts to take place within the fourth density. So in the fourth density, a fully fourth density planet with a, a fully fourth density species living on the planet, there are no more physical beings. There are no more physical bodies, okay, for the species, at least, for the species. Um, so that is another difference with the fourth density. Now, another thing that is unique to the fourth density is this is where the concept of a social memory complex starts to get created. So a social memory complex is literally, you can imagine the entire human race joining together through the mind and sharing access between each other, all memories and all thoughts. Okay. Once an entire species gets to that point of evolution within the fourth density, they create the social memory complex, which is an entire species on that planetary sphere that shares the same one mind and shares thoughts and memories. And this essentially forms, uh, you could think of it as a, ent a, a very powerful entity which is a very, you, I mean, essentially, it's a very, very powerful thought form. Um, and this is what is called a social memory complex. So obviously, when you achieve that state of basically union with your planetary uh, beings, you can imagine once every being on that planetary sphere is sharing the same mind, you can imagine the amount of power that can be tapped into because everyone is directing intent towards the same aims, towards the same uh, desires, towards the same goals, things in that nature. So this is where the power of the mind really starts to amplify once the social memory complex starts to form and manifest itself. But this happens in the fourth density. This is more so in a solidified fourth density planet with the species fully solidified as fourth density beings. Okay, so... This is the separation between the fourth density and the third density. As I said, we have recently just shifted into a fourth density planet back in 2012. So we are what we are in a unique phase right now, which is essentially a harvesting phase where yes, we are a fourth density planet now, which is positively oriented. Um but the species has not yet caught up to being fourth density species yet. So that basically means there are still a lot of third density beings that are on this planet that exist right now. And during the harvest, this is like a, it's a point in the cycles of evolution between the densities, specifically within the third density, there is a harvest every 75 to 76,000 years and in between that 75 mark, there are smaller harvests or uh, different harvests. I should say there are different harvests that happen every 25,000 years. So the final harvest happens at the 75 to 76,000 year mark. And essentially in these harvesting periods, this is when, when, when the harvest happens. This is when an individual passes away. And depending on their state of consciousness, where they are in their evolution, whether they're positively polarized or negatively polarized, or if they're in between, 
this is going to be dependent on what happens next after their death. So if you're positively polarized enough, then you are eligible to transition into another fourth density planet after you pass, after you pass away. If you're negatively polarized enough, then after you pass away, you are eligible to transition to a negatively polarized fourth density planet when you pass away. This is the general concept. If you're in the middle, if you are lukewarm and you didn't have an, you know, you didn't have a chance or you didn't have an ability during your lifetime to polarize, then you will have to repeat the cycle back into the third density. Okay? Whether if it's on this third density planet or another third density planet, but the general basis is they're all going to be very similar in nature, but there are going to be some differences between them. Okay? So, with that knowledge being said, we are in this state right now where the planet's at, where we have recently shifted into a fourth density, positively oriented planet. But the species on the planet, a lot of the species on the planet are still a third density species, a third density beings. Okay? So, you can imagine since the planet has shifted into a fourth density planet, you can imagine. If the planet is trying to change to a, a fully fourth density planet, it's going to require the species living on that planet to be more so fourth density beings. So this actually accounts to why we're seeing so much destruction and why we're seeing so much death, very similar to the pandemic that just recently happened, 2020, is because this was an elimination process from, you know, the universe itself, but our planet primarily, to get rid of people that are still in the third density. It's basically, you could think of it as a cosmic cleaning that is taking place. Okay, and there are going to be many more versions and many more forms of this that are going to be taking place since this planet has shifted its density and how it's starting to change the population on this planet. So what this means is that for everyone who lost their physical lives and had passed away that was not eligible to transition to a fourth density positive planet or a fourth density negative planet, then they are going to have to relive their third density experience no longer on this planet because this planet is no longer a third density planet, which means they are going to have to reincarnate on a different third density planet. Okay, in a, in a different location within the universe. Okay. Um, but this is one of the reasons, just to be clear, this is one of the reasons why this huge event has taken place, like the pandemic itself, and why there are so many other experiences and so many other events that are and have and will be taking place that are causing large amounts of life to be lost, large amounts of death. It's because the planet is going through a cosmic cleaning. It's preparing the species to be more so a fourth density species. Now, obviously, this process is going to take uh, hundreds of years to manifest. This is going to be a long process until this cleaning takes place, and it's going to be a, an even longer process, to my knowledge, on when this planet, speaking about planet Earth, can actually achieve the social memory complex, okay? Um, but long story short, this is what's happened. This is where our planet's at right now. This is why we're seeing a lot of death, but in totality, this is what this is what's really taking place. So the fact that this planet is now a fourth density, positively oriented planet, once again means that people that are third density can no longer reincarnate back on this planet. So that eliminates that habitation of third density beings to coming back to this planet. Okay, so that is going to make progress for this planet. Now, when it comes to negative beings, when it comes to the negative polarized beings, um, negative polarized beings can still incarnate on a transitioning into fourth density planets. So because our planet is not fully manifest into the fourth density, um, even though it's a positively polarized planet, and it is a fourth density planet, 
because we're still in that very, very early stage of transition, negatively polarized beings can actually incarnate on this planet during this phase. Okay. And the only, there, there actually comes a certain point in time when a negative polarized entity or a negative polarized being like myself cannot incarnate on a positively polar uh, a positively polarized planet and that is actually when that planet achieves the social memory complex so once a positively oriented planet like earth achieves the single state of one mind where everyone on the planet is sharing the same thoughts and the same memories then a negative polarized being like myself that is you know whatever you know a negative polarized being like myself that is a higher density being like a fourth density being let's say for example i cannot incarnate back on this planet once the social memory complex uh has been created because you could think of uh the social memory complex of one single mind is essentially like creating a massive force field around the planet that does not allow any infiltration from other types of beings that basically go against the intentions of that social memory complex. So in this case, once again, once this planet fully becomes a social memory a social memory complex, that is literally when the negativity or the catalysts stop really manifesting on this planet. When the essentially speaking, when the pain and the suffering and all that other stuff starts to really go away and when that veil of forgetting starts to really disappear uh you know very profoundly, okay? But once again, in that transition phase, when the planet is still in its very early stages of really solidifying itself as a fourth density planet and trying to train and teach and influence the species on that planet to be in alignment with the positive polarity, um, there are still negative entities, negative polarized beings that can reincarnate back on this planet, even if they are fourth and, and if they are fourth density beings. So let's say, for example, there was a, um, let's say there was a person who was a third density person and they were negatively polarized on this planet when this planet was a third density planet. Let's say when they physically pass, they were able to, they were, they were eligible to transition into a fourth density negatively polarized experience. They can actually uh, for the short amount of time, if their soul decides to, they can reincarnate back on this planet for another lifetime, for another physical embodiment, so to speak, as a negative entity. Even though traditionally, uh, once, you know, I should say, even though traditionally, the negatively polarized being, a fourth density negative polarized being, would have to incarnate on a negative fourth density planet, uh, that doesn't necessarily have to take place during the early stages of the transition from third density into fourth density okay so the point that i'm trying to make is that there is still going to be dark entities there are still going to be negative beings on this planet that are incarnating as we speak that are going to continue bringing pain suffering and certain amounts of catalysts that are actually absolutely necessary to uh fully embrace in order to get to a fourth density positive polarized planet. But that is still going to be taking place, especially with the time frame that we're in now, while we're in these earlier stages of a transition. Okay. So when it comes to the negative entities, like myself, I am one of these. When it comes to a negatively polarized being, we see this as a amazing opportunity to really spread our negative polarity on this planet and to spread our influence on this planet, especially when it's in its early phase of transition, mainly because we increase our power by doing that and it serves our evolutionary growth, but also because we understand on an even higher level that this is actually going to be very, you could think of it as just putting extreme amounts of pressure on the species itself to further evolve, to get to a fourth density positive planet and eventually achieve the social memory complex. So from the negative polarized entity like myself, it's a self-serving type of thing. We come here, we spread our dark energy, we spread chaos, we gain evolutionary power, we gain polarity from doing it, we gain value, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and all those wonderful things. 
yet also we're offering huge amounts of catalyst to the planet uh, as much as we possibly can right now because we know we are not going to be able to incarnate back on this planet for much longer in the bigger scheme of things because we know this planet is changing. So this really does attract a lot of dark entities that are oftentimes higher level dark entities like myself, which are considered wanderers, wanderers from higher densities like the sixth density that come back into the fourth density or the third density to really manifest their um, polarities, to manifest their influence. Um, and in the scope that I'm talking about now, where our planet's at right now, this actually does attract a lot of dark entities like myself to really get their last experience here on this planet to really intensify our own polarization, but also serving this planet's evolutionary process so that it can really have that pressure to transition into shift. Now, um, I'll, I'll definitely be speaking a lot more about this topic you know, in the near future with different videos, and I'll be covering it in much depth because I know there's a lot of questions that are probably coming up for a lot of you that are listening to this, just like I would myself. Um, but the point is, is that you can imagine that as we're in this early stage of transition for this planetary sphere, um, there are going to be people that do have the ability to transition into a fourth density positive uh, body after this, uh, after their life experience right now. And if you're positively polarized and you're a fourth density being, you you are going to transition most likely back to this planet, which is planet Earth. Okay. Once again, if you're a third density being still and you do not have the ability to graduate to fourth density, uh, then you are going to have to reincarnate back into the cycle, back onto a third density planet, which has another veil of forgetting and has catalysts, has positive and negative entities. Um, and if you're a negative fourth density entity, for the most part, once this planet fully polarizes, then you have to incarnate or you have to transition to a fourth density negative planet where literally, literally all the beings on that planet share a similar intent of that negative polarity. Okay. Um, and there are going to be less negatively polarized entities like myself than there are positively polarized entities, just to make that clear as well. Okay. Um, but the point is, is that you can imagine during this transition phase, there is going to be a lot of destruction. Okay. As this planet is becoming more so positively polarized and more people are starting to incarnate as fourth density positive beings. There is going to be a lot more destruction, a lot more chaos that is going to manifest in the very near future and even long-term future. And when I say near future, I'm referring to definitely 50 years from now, as well as 100 to 200 years from now. It's probably, my guess is probably around the 500 to 700 year mark is when there's going to be more positively polarized fourth density beings on this planet that are sharing that same awareness of unity where it's it's going to really affect this planet in a way that will be beneficial for positive polarized beings but until that point within the next 50 to even 200 years there are going to be a lot of negatively polarized experiences and entities that are choosing to come to this planet right now to really leave their mark and leave their influence helping essentially on the deeper perspective, as I said, push this planet into its fourth density manifestation, but also to increase our own evolutionary power by polarizing in our own rights. You know, we get, you know, huge amounts of power in this short window of opportunity that we have as negative beings coming to a positively polarized planet that just recently shifted and is not fully a positively polarized planet, which has achieved the social memory complex. So we're, we're basically, you could think of it as a little bit of a cheat code for evolution coming to this planet as a negatively polarized being. Okay. And, um, this is the case. This is what's happening. Um, it's not that it's good. It's not that it's evil. Once again, as I've said many times for the people that are truly positively polarized, that are wanting to get the most out of their evolution, you have a lot to learn. From people like myself. You have a lot to learn from the negative energies and the catalysts and the challenges that they bring you. 
Um, and if you are a negatively polarized entity, which I know there are people that consume my content, which are 100%, I actually have an empire of people that are, um, you are here with an amazing opportunity to really increase your evolutionary potential. So definitely make sure you are fully taking advantage of that. Make sure that you're understanding or at least trying and intending to understand some of these concepts that I'm teaching here on my YouTube channel. And once again, ultimately recognize that you're here at a very important time frame. This is very unique within our universe, okay? Not it's not all the time, it's not every day that planets are in this early stage of a transition phase. And a lot of you listening to this were alive during that shift, meaning you were born into a third density incarnation and you got to literally live through the time when the planet shifted into fourth density, when 2012 hit. I believe at the time I was, I don't know off the top of my head, but I think I was around the age of like uh, 15 or 16 when 2012 happened or somewhere around there. Um, and this is a very valuable time frame, whatever path you're on. But honestly, the worst thing that you could do, and unfortunately, there are a lot of individuals who are going to fall along these lines. And it is what it is at the end of the day. You know, eventually they'll figure it out. But there are a lot of individuals that are in the middle, meaning they do not know their soul. They do not know their spirit. They have no idea that they're supposed to choose an evolutionary pathway between the positive polarity and the negative polarity. And they just stay stagnant, basically listening to all of the dogmas and the inversions and the traps and tricks that the negative polarized entities like myself place within the multiverse without using them to understand themselves even deeper, therefore remaining in that lukewarm position, that middle place. And as I said, that middle place is not going to be able to graduate into a fourth density experience. They're going to have to relive the cycle of third density. So that means they're, they're essentially going to have to go through a whole nother cycle, a whole nother lifetime as a physical being in a third density planetary sphere. Uh, with that veil of forgetting, with pain, with suffering, and all those other nasty things that you don't always want to experience. And that traditional cycle on average takes a human being to figure out and eventually polarize typically around the 400 to 700 year mark. Okay, so you can imagine there are a lot of individuals that are going to uh, have to keep reincarnating into different lifetimes until they finally graduate. And it can, you know, it can be much shorter and it can be much longer than this general average example that I just gave you from the 400 to 700 year mark. Um, but yeah, you know, this is really what's taking place. You know, this is deep, deep, deep information that I'm sharing. This is what is happening right now. And, you know, this is not, obviously, this is not information that you can find on a solid piece of paper and say, this is why it's happening this way. This is what's happening. This is not something you can logically or analytically prove. This is something you can understand and something that you can resonate if it's right for you, if it's time for you to understand this information. So if you were to ask me to prove to you if I'm right or if I'm wrong, if what I'm saying is true or if it's not true, then I would respond and I would say, no. I don't want to prove it to you. I could care less to proving this to you. Okay, Whether you understand it or not is not my responsibility. It was my responsibility to share the information. It was my responsibility to be Lucifer and to bear this light for this moment. But it is not my responsibility to hold your hand and guide you through the darkness, so to speak. It was my responsibility to bear this light and potentially hand you the light so that you can take it for yourself and walk through darkness yourself and learn about yourself. So that is what it is. You know, whether you understand or agree or accept what it is that I'm saying, that's up to you ultimately. And I'm completely aware of that. Okay. Whatever path you choose at the end of the day, as I've said many times over, I am going to gain value because truly I am a real black magician. So whether you're suffering or whether you're thriving, I will gain the evolutionary power from that, okay? Um, now, let's move into a little bit of a perspective of what this planet is ultimately headed to. So as I mentioned, this is a fourth density 
positively oriented planet, okay? And there's a lot of nuance to these terms that I'm using, but I'm keeping it as general as I can so that you can really understand it. Um, what this means is that at some point in time, the beings on this planet, the species on this planet are going to be all positively oriented. At some point along the evolutionary cycles, this will be a fully polarized positive planet, which literally means there's going to be no suffering. There's going to be little to no pain whatsoever. The veil of forgetting will be completely removed. You will have knowledge of past, present, and future. You will understand essentially where you're headed and what you need to do to get to polarize even further to move up in densities from the fourth to the fifth to the sixth and so on. And this all literally starts to take place within the fourth density. Now, this obviously is a process. It's still an evolutionary experience. There still are many things you learn throughout that experience, but it, it's, it's a very different form of expression. It's a very different form of existence than what we're currently experiencing with our third density bodies. Okay. Now, this is what's going to take place to this planet. Okay. So you can expect that. Okay. At some point along these cycles, my perspective on when this planet gets to the ability of being able to form a social memory complex that is positively polarized, I believe this is going to be thousands of years down the road. This is going to be thousands of years into the future. Okay. I think it's going to be around the uh, generally the 700 year mark once there are less negatively polarized beings that exist on this planet. So I believe probably, and this is all coming from my own perspective, I believe probably at the 700 year mark, this is when this planet is going to really start making big shifts towards the positive polarity and towards unity. But until the actual formation of the social memory complex takes place i believe this could be thousands of years down the road i don't i don't fully i don't fully know okay but that's my personal perspective um and once again once the social memory complex is formed that is a clear sign that this planet is a fully manifested fourth density planet with a fully manifested fourth density species on the planet which literally means there are no more negative polarized entities on the planet okay um, and then when it comes to the negative polarized entities, you may be wondering because a lot of you are walking the path of the, the uh, real black magician. Um, we have our own planetary sphere that we get to transition to once our incarnation ends on this planet. Um, and that planetary sphere is a negatively polarized planet. And the same concept, there is no pain, there is no suffering on that planet. The veil, the veil of forgetting is removed once again, very similar to the fourth density positive, except the only difference is there are structures of hierarchies within the fourth density negative polarized planet. And there are, are basically these structures where you serve others in order to become like them. And the highest levels of these hierarchies are the highest evolved negatively polarized entities. And that is your form of serving the other to truly become as powerful as the other, which is a form of ultimately wanting to serve yourself. And this is how you evolve on the negatively polarized uh, planetary sphere. Once again, in correspondence with the positive, everyone's in a state of unity. Everyone's seeing everyone else as the source. And in correspondence with uh, the negatively polarized planet, fourth density, Everyone is seeing themselves as the, as the source and doing whatever it takes to be the ultimate, most powerful version of the source in a hierarchical format. Okay, but once again, on both planets, there is no pain, there is no suffering, there is only knowledge of past, present, and future, and what you need to do to further progress into the next density, to you know, so that your soul can further evolve. And um, And the social memory complex also starts to form itself on the negatively polarized uh, planetary spheres as well. So this is where you get things like demonic entities. So for example, Karanzan, one of the most powerful and prominent entities that has shown up in our today's time, 
uh, is a representation of a density, a, a much higher density, negatively polarized planetary sphere that is an entire planetary civilization. That is literally what Quranzon is. Okay, and that negatively planetary uh, civilization has a huge amount of control on this planet here on Earth. Obviously, because Quranzon is literally represented by the mass collective. Most of the humans on our planet are possessed by Quranzon. Okay, which means they're essentially being possessed by a negatively polarized planetary sphere of a complete civilization of other higher density consciousness entities. Okay. Now, obviously, if you're on the negatively polarized path, that's a good thing for you. You can take a lot of advantage of it. Okay. You can use Quranzon to really increase your power and step into you know, huge amounts of evolutionary progress. And uh, that's a little bit different from the positive polarity. Uh, you can still learn a lot from Quranzon. You can still gain huge amounts of evolutionary potential, but you're going to also have to be dealing with Quranzon a lot. And Quranzon will be trying to uh, essentially change your direction, change you from positive to negative, so to speak. And it's just a completely different interaction with this dark entity uh, as a positively polarized person would have compared to a negatively polarized person okay and uh, ultimately you know you know at the end of the day you got to listen to your intuition you know what your soul wants for you and things of that nature but this is what is taking place this is what's happening and this is my perspective on the matter as well to mix into the entire equation okay now once again I am well aware there are a lot of things that I mention within this video that may have flew right over your head, or a lot of things that I may have said that you don't fully understand yet and you may not agree with. And ultimately, that's completely okay. You know, a lot of these things are coming from my own personal perspective. But I also am well aware that a lot of these things that I'm talking about not only are just my personal perspective, but are rooted in some deep level principles deep level truths, universal truths that will stand the test of time. Okay. Um, so definitely, once again, do not take any of this information for granted. If you want to learn a little bit more about these concepts of the densities, the concepts of social memory complexes, and even this planet and how it's shifting, you can do so by reading a book called The Law of One. Okay. This book shares so much high level interdimensional information. And if you really pay attention to it, and once again, this is one of those books that is kind of drawn towards you, drawn to you when the time is right. It's not for everybody. But when it is, that's a very valuable sign. And there are some people that are going to be drawn towards it from this video here. Um, but there are some huge deep level truths that are shared within that book that literally discuss some of the uh, interdimensional sciences that are taking place within the universe and how these cycles manifest. And if you do your, you know, if you really do your research, you can actually see that a lot of these things are very real and very true, meaning that the stuff that's mentioned in that book, if you actually study it, you can see how it's actually manifested on this physical plane. And this book was written 30 years ago. And there are scientists today and very high level um, archaeologists that have started to prove some of the things that were mentioned in that, bro that book 30 years ago. So there's a lot of validity to it. Now, honestly, if you go into your intuition and you just feel it and you process it, uh, you're going to be able to recognize that a lot of these things as out, as crazy as they may sound, they're actually going to resonate with you on a soul level. If you have that ability to really process through your intuition, you will recognize that a lot of these concepts and these deep interdimensional perspectives are resonating with you and they do make sense on that soul level almost as if you're just re-remembering the information not like you're learning anything different okay ultimately thanks to the veil of forgetting the truth is you just are re-remembering okay so other than that this is going to wrap it up ladies and gentlemen i appreciate you very much come down here and hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this content okay also come down here and hit the notification bell because i post videos as often as I can. And obviously with content like this, you definitely don't want to be missing out. Come down here and hit the subscribe button. I put, um, if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, then you're making a very big mistake. And the reason is, is because you could be further linking into the content by subscribing. So go ahead and subscribe if you want to further link in. 
Okay. The next thing I want to say is you have my full permission to copy and paste this link and send it out to anyone, family, friends, social media platforms, you name it. You have my full permission to send it out. Okay. My intention is to spread this content like a wildfire to increase my empire in the process. And that's exactly what has been taking place. So let's continue to do so. Okay. The next thing I want to say is come down here, add me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is super easy to type in J-E-R underscore 477. Check me out on social media. See what I post on Instagram. Okay. The next thing I want to say is if you click the little drop down, that arrow drop down right there, you're going to go into the YouTube description, scroll down. You're eventually going to come across a post that says private Facebook community. Underneath that, there's a link. Click that link. Follow where the link takes you. There you can request to join within a private Facebook community that has over 450 members that are posting on a daily basis. And I'm telling you from personal experience, there is extremely valuable information that is being posted within that private Facebook group. Okay, so if you want to take advantage of it, you know what to do. You can request to join and I will add you in. Okay, this is the most important link that I'm now going to take your awareness to if you're here. Click the drop down arrow go into the YouTube description. It's the first link at the very top. Okay. This is where you can join my Patreon. Okay. On my Patreon, I have an entire vault of exclusive occult content over well over 200 videos. None of this content is on my public YouTube channel. And that is for many intentional reasons. Uh, I have videos that are in the form of live streams, videos that are in the form of blog posts, not videos, uh, posts that are in the form of blog posts, uh, typed out. Um, and then I have content that is actually very similar to this, except it's all more advanced and more personal. Okay. Then as you move into tier three and up, you're gaining access to an entire magic training course, which I feel like would be extremely valuable, especially if you're a beginner in the, the occult field and you're looking for a structured format to follow, to start developing your psychic capabilities. Okay. That would be for tier three and up for the magic training course. Then as you go into tier four, this is the highest tier on my Patreon, but also the most popular tier on the Patreon as well, which speaks for itself. This is what's called the Universe B Vampire Service. Okay, so what this means is that on the 29th of every single month that has a 29th, I perform an advanced occult ritual on the participants of that service to completely change their energetic structure to be more so Universe B dominant, okay? Basically, negatively polarized. Okay, so what this means is that these individuals have an ability then, once they have the service, to start existing within the darker areas of the multiverse itself without being harmed by them, but rather gaining knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and power from them instead. Okay, so naturally, this allows the individual to be more so receptive to their unconscious and subconscious mind, which is feminine in nature. And they also gain the ability to pull an energy from dark energy and chaos in their environment to alchemize it into their power and evolutionary potential. Hence, the Universe B Vampire Service. If this is something you wanna take advantage of, it is the fourth tier, first link in the YouTube description. You know what to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to give a special shout out to everyone specifically who is a Patreon member for taking your knowledge, practices, and studies to that other side. Huge shout out to all of you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the next thing I want to say is in the second link below, this is where you can book your own personalized tarot card reading from me, okay? In this tarot card reading, I can literally pinpoint exactly where you are on the Kabbalistic tree. I can tell you what you're feeling, experiencing, and going through in the present moment based on your location on the Kabbalistic tree, then tell you what to expect as you move into the near and long-term future based on how you're gonna be traveling on the Kabbalistic tree, okay? I've done well over 500 readings. I get tons of valuable feedback. If this is something you wanna take advantage of, second link below, book your reading. Okay, now you're gonna go into the third link below. This is where you can become a YouTube member, okay? As you become a YouTube member, you're getting access to many different types of benefits, okay? You have access to an occult badge that is right next to your name. You get access to the YouTube community with all the other members. You have an ability to leave a question that appears in the same format as a super chat every single month that I do my live streams, okay? And you also get special shout outs whenever I do the live streams as well, 
okay? But most importantly, you're gaining access to the exclusive Psychic Warfare Emoji program, which means as soon as you become a YouTube member, you have access to a sequence of emojis that I've designed myself that can be used in a certain configuration. Then you link in the name of a target, you hit enter, and it actually causes psychic damage to that target. There are well over a thousand posts where individuals are taking advantage of the Psychic Warfare program. And even in this moment right now, there are individuals that are using it. Okay, if you want to take advantage of this, literally the most simple form of utilizing Psychic Warfare, third link below. We'll leave that there. Then, ladies and gentlemen, the fourth link, this is the last link that I want to take your awareness to. This is where you can purchase your 50-pack bundle of EMF incense sticks from me, electromagnetic frequency incense sticks. Basically, in a nutshell, these are incense sticks that are created by me. They're already pre-packaged and energetically charged. There is an occult formula I place into the incense sticks, which gives further access to the 11th sphere on the Kabbalistic tree, which is DATH, which represents 100% transference of energy, also 100% manifestation. Okay? Um, I put... 11 drops of real monatomic gold into the sticks, which gives them their EMF properties, as well as the fact that at that same liquid base, there are real quartz and citrine quartz crystals that are charging them on that level. These are like no other incense sticks you've ever had before. Trust me, I've got plenty of feedback uh, from the people that have the incense sticks on how valuable they are and also how different they are from anything they've seen. Um, if this is something that you personally would like to take advantage of, you know what to do. Fourth link below. The sooner you place your order, the sooner I can have them shipped out to you. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to wrap it up. I appreciate all of you very much. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or nights, wherever you are. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.